Okay, I'm going to do for you the, let's see, number five on 1D motion number two. The code for that is HRW9TP044. This is the one about the armadillo that's jumping. So your numbers will be different, but they tell you that an armadillo jumps straight in the air, and after a certain amount of time, it's a certain height. And then it asks you some questions. So these are the numbers that it gave me. It said at that height, at that height, its position was 0.554 meters, and the time for that, when it was that high, it took it one or 0.198 seconds to get there. Um, I'm going to assume that its position was on the ground. I'm going to call that zero. I don't know what its initial velocity was. In fact, that's the first thing they ask you in part A. I also don't know what the final velocity was at this point in time. That's what they're going to ask you in part B. And I didn't know the acceleration though, it's gravity. So that's going to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Notice that although you can use 10 meters per second squared on the AP test, for WebAssign to accept your answer, you're probably going to have to use 9.8, or you'll be outside of the, the range of possible answers. Okay, so on part A, on part A, they want what was the velocity it jumped off the ground? So that would be its initial velocity. Well, I'm going to use our good old, the big equation. Initial position plus initial velocity times time plus one half a t squared. Um, luckily for us, that's zero. Also, let's see, no, that's it. Okay, so if I solve that for v naught, I'm not going to do the algebra because I it's, they make the video file too large. I already did the algebra. If I do the algebra, I get y minus one half a t squared all over t. If you plug these numbers in there, keep in mind that a is a negative number, so you're going to end up with minus a negative. So this will become an addition right here. If I do all that, I get an initial velocity of 3.77 meters per second, which is what would WebAssign said was the answer on this problem with these numbers. Okay. Now that I know that, I'm going to go put that over here because I'm going to need it for part B. Okay. Part B, let's use purple. Part B, they want to know what is the armadillo's velocity at that moment in time. That one's even easier. What can you see over here? Uh, my little house doesn't have a lot of room. Okay. Um, so this one, I'm looking for V. Well, luckily, I now have V naught, so I can use this equation, because it's the nice, easy one. Plug in the numbers. I just found V naught, so I can just plug it in. Notice A is a negative number, so it's going to be minus 9.8 times 0.198, and I end up with 1.83 meters per second. Okay. So, that gives me part A and part B. Part C asks, how much higher will it go? Now that's an interesting way they phrased it. If I just want to know how high it went, I would go back over here and I would change some things, and, but I'd be, I'd be working from y not equals zero. But, I want to know how much higher than this. So that is my new starting place, if you will. I'm going to leave the purple and I'm going to erase this. I have some room here. I basically have a new problem. Um, I don't know how much time it's going to take from get to this point. Oop, I could have left that. Oops. Okay. I'm now saying, 
that my new problem I'm going to call position zero where the armadillo was at the beginning of the problem. That is, it's already jumped up, it's like going, ah, it's up to here. I want to know how much further it goes from there. So I want to know this distance. So I'm going to call that zero, and then however high it gets will be how much further it went. So I'm looking for this, but where it started, well, its velocity was, no, was not at what it used to jump off the ground. It was what it was at that point at the beginning of the problem, which is this that we just found. So I already know what that is. And I know that if it's got to its, if it's going to get to its highest point at the end of the problem, then the velocity at the end of the problem has to be zero. Because velocity is zero at the highest point in one dimension vertical motion. Um, this is the same. Still gravity. And time, I don't know. And I don't care. So I'm not going to bother with it. Let's see. Pink probably doesn't show up that well, so I'm going to switch back to black here. All right. So I'm going to use my favorite equation, this one. And luckily, this is already zero, and that's already zero. So all I have is zero equals v naught squared plus 2ay. If I do all the math for that, solving for y, I get negative v naught squared over 2a. If I plug in these numbers in there, keeping in mind that that negative is outside the square. So I'm going to get a negative thing on top, but a is also negative, so the things are going to go away in the end anyways. I will get that it goes up another 0.17 meters, which was the answer on my web assign with my numbers.